turn off the volumes if you don't want to hear my voice. I'm sitting in my office with my best friends to discuss something important. So what are your plans for this Sunday? Shopping with Danny? Well, I'll be going on a short trip with YN this weekend. Her birthday is coming, so we are planning to celebrate it in Hawaii. Teach her and date me, please. Keep dreaming. By the way, I'm getting bored. How about we prank someone? We aren't kids. What's the plan? Pranking YN. No, you may leave now. This is gonna be fun. It won't hurt her feelings or something. We'll keep everything in limits. And she's our childhood best friend. So we can prank her without your permission. But it will be much better if JK will help us. Okay, but let's not go too far. I have one girlfriend only. So blah blah blah. This doesn't seem much bad. As per the plans, me and Wyan are watching movie. And it's horror. Wyan, I'm thinking to go for a sleep over at Jimin's house. So sudden? I'm getting scared. Please don't go today. I won't be able to go to washroom alone after watching this movie. It's been long since we have met. It's okay. I think they were right. They already told me that you will never allow me to spend time with my friends. But I won't go against your words. Stop this drama and leave. What? Really? Let me cook something for you. I'll be leaving. You must be hungry. Alright. Pasta will be fine for me. I need to pee but that horror movie. JK must be enjoying with his friends. Why did I allow him to go? Never mind. I'll have to help myself. I came to the living room and I tried to switch on the lights but it's not working. Only the lamp is on. That's weird. I paid the electricity bill. But suddenly I heard some footsteps. Is any anyone here? Pick up the phone. Beware of the man you think you know. Who is this? Please come out. This is not funny. I don't like it when humans try to struggle. What do you want? I want to wear your skin. Leave me please. Suddenly, all the show pieces of the room started falling. A loud laughter can be heard from outside. I lost my consciousness from the loud noise that came from the front door. Suddenly, Wyan went silent and we rushed inside and switched on the main switch. I saw that she is lying unconscious. I ran towards her with a glass of water. What an idiot. How can someone get easily scared? She needs some lesson of being brave from Hobi. Wake up, Wyan. I'm sorry. Please do something. She isn't responding. I think she went in coma. This is not funny. Jibin, bite her toes. Call the ambulance. I picked her up and laid her down on the couch. After shaking her up a bit, she started moving her eyeballs. Devil possessed her. She possessed the devil. Where I am? Thank God you're fine. You saved me from him. Actually, Wyan. How can you do this to me, Jungkook? This was too much. I hate you all. I'm sorry. Please forgive us. I think we should leave. I cried and begged for her forgiveness for two hours. I'm extremely guilty. She is still in my arms and staring at the blank wall. Who did this? What do you mean by that? The one who was hiding behind the couch. Honestly, those lines were so creepy. But three of us were outside. Meanwhile, Park Jimin, how can you both leave me alone? I'm stuck here. You paid me for an hour only. I did my work. Now help me to get out. Let us do something. Don't worry. We forget Yoongi there. I'm not going back otherwise our master plan will be revealed and he'll beat us. I think they most must be fighting right now. This is the result of messing with us. He's younger than us and boss us around. This was a perfect revenge. Uh, stupid ending? 